And Chris Rockle here at 2012 Division II Indoor Nationals with uh, All-American uh, Jennifer Zweifel, the Truman Senior and Maryville native. Tell me, I know coming in you're ranked seated, seated second in the triple jump and what, about 11th in the long jump? What was, what was your season best coming in? My season best was 580, I think. And I don't have my book on me, so is that right, right at 19 or yeah, over? Right at 19. Okay. Right at 19. And what were the thoughts and expectations coming in? Obviously, with this coming first, I know your probably big focus would be, man, shooting maybe that win that national title in the, in the triple. Tell me what the mindset coming in to, to, the, to long today. Um, really, I just wanted to get in the top eight. Obviously, when you come here, you want to get in the top eight. Um, and so that was my goal, get in the top eight. And of course, always PR, get a personal best. And so I'm thrilled that I was yeah. able to shoot both of those. Well, I was running all over the place, but um, how, how did prelim? I mean, how did the your, your prelims go? It didn't seem like, at least what I did see of you, that you were happy with the jumps that I saw. Tell me how the, your first three attempts went. Uh, my first two were pretty terrible. Um, yeah. My third, I didn't even think I was going to get into finals, um, but I did. Uh, I was ninth going into finals. Uh, so the last one into the finals. One what in. with what mark or um, what? You know. 568. Okay. Yeah. So 18, like and a half or so? Uh, yeah, it was like right at 18. Yeah. Seven, I think. So what, okay, you make it in, sweet, sneak it into the finals. What, yeah. what, did you talk to coach or what were you, what did you think, what were you thinking um, then? Well, I just like, I got to get, move up one place. The, the next people in front of me were about 18, 11, so I knew I had to get a couple more inches. Right. Um, so I was like, okay, shoot for 19, yeah. move up a spot, and that, that was my goal. And, and then was it your sixth jump that you popped yes, 19-6? The last, the very last jump. Uh, tell me, tell me about that. Um, again, it was like, okay, I got I have to. This is my last shot. I gotta uh, jump as far as I can on this one, and um, I did. And it was a season best and a personal best for indoor. So I'm very excited. What's uh, how how much of a PR indoors? Indoor about a six inch PR indoor. Oh, okay. Yeah. And uh, so what what was the? It looked like you were pretty excited, waiting for that for the the performance indicator to come up. Yes. Felt um, good. And yeah, I knew that it was further than I had jumped on any of my other jumps. So I was uh, just waiting to see if it was good enough to move me up. Right, right. How was the runway? Nice, fast. I mean, it's it's neat. This facility is phenomenal. Yeah. But I mean, literally, you're you're on the runway, eight rows, and then a walkway, and then there's the stands. You know, right there. With, I, I assume that was your parents there also. Yes. And uh, I know Derek Atwood, a teammate there, to cheer you on. What? What? How was that? Was that pretty exciting? Um, so uh, embedded in the action, we had a lot going on just uh, between the gun going off at the start of the race, right. and people um, getting on the stand for other events and awards. Um, it's it was very hectic being kind of in the middle of all of that, but um, the runway was fast, it was great, the sand is great, so um, it worked out. Yeah, so yeah. So is this bonus? What are you going to celebrate, or you just enjoy it and then uh, and then focus? Focus and get ready for tomorrow. Yeah, I've had my five minutes of celebration, and now it's all <laughs> triple jump, triple jump, triple jump. Yeah. Let's see, 40. What's your what seat? What's your best season best? Um, it's right at 41 flat. Uh, okay. 1258. And the top seat, if I'm not correct, is is way 43 way, something. Yeah. Into the upper 42 season. Yeah. Okay. What? Any 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 t discussion from coach about you know? Enjoy it for a couple minutes and then relax and focus, you know, back and yep. get a big one tomorrow or? That was basically it. Yeah, yeah. Well, congratulations. It was fun to watch. I know uh, um, you, uh, with that jump, I think you squeezed Erin Aliwan from Central Missouri out of a out of a trophy. But she's she already has a few and she's got a couple more years to go. Is, but this is your last trip. What? Um, tell me just the atmosphere and the experience. Obviously, you said it was hectic and, and noisy. Did, were you? More nervous than usual, or nervous at all, or? Uh, I'm always nervous. Um, I would say about about the same. Um, I really started getting pumped up uh, during the women's weight throw. Um, there were people moving spots in their last throw, and right. um, you know that's why you come here is to right. feel that competition, and, and so that really kind of got my adrenaline pumping and got me set for the day. Yeah. So. Well, what, any any suggestions that you give to to high schoolers thinking about doing track in college, or any you know other. Other Maryville hounds that are thinking about doing college and track, especially the MIAA, the conference meet indoors is so exciting, phenomenal. Just 
any any um, my suggestion would be do it yeah. I, I've had a phenomenal experience as a student athlete um, the MIAA has been just absolutely incredible every year we go to these meets and they just everyone just performs uh, incredibly and so yeah do it be a student athlete tell me a little bit about about coach I know he it was I was disappointed that he is such a committed coach that he missed the Coaches Association and his Hall of Fame induction into the Missouri Track and Cross Country Coaches Association Hall of Fame. Tell me just a little bit about him and what, what it's been like to be around him and work with him for four years. Um, he is phenomenal. Um, I owe so much of my success to him and um, I can't imagine working with anyone else. I mean, he's supportive when he needs to be and he's um, tough when he needs, to be. he needs yeah. to be. Yeah, so um, he's him as a coach and as a person. Do, do I remember? Did you did you talk on his on his induction tape? Or I can't remember. I know there were no. Okay, well I, I couldn't remember, but I'm sure he'll enjoy appreciate hearing that from you. But well, good luck. What what time's the triple tomorrow? 4:30. All right, so you've got plenty of time to relax. And what time will you come to the track? I know Derek. What time does Derek throw? Probably like 1:30 or so. Something like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So we'll we'll probably get here about um, before noon. Yeah. Yeah. Well, good luck and do it again tomorrow. Yeah, thank you.